to cover installing my Memory Suite 9 on a Mac. Uh, as you can see, I'm already signed into my account, and if I wasn't on the My Downloads page, I can just click it here. Uh, that gets me to the software download page. You can see that I have the full version. Um, I'm going to copy the product key into the clipboard here, so I'm going to press Command C on the keyboard. Um, that way it's ready to paste when I go to install the program. Uh, so the first step is to download My Memory Suite 9. I'm going to click the Mac 64 link and wait for it to download. I can click here in my downloads list and start the installer from here. I'm going to double click it in the list. Uh, the disk image mounts to the desktop and the installer option is right here. So I'm going to double click on that. Um, I'm getting a warning that uh, the program's been downloaded from the internet and do I want to run it? Yes, I do. I need to enter my computer password. And the installer starts up. I'm going to leave recommended. Uh, this will install the software into applications. If I needed to install the program to an external hard drive, then I could go to the advanced settings and specify a different location. So I'm clicking next. I'm going to agree to the terms of the license agreement. Choose accept and next. Then I'm going to enter my name. And I had copied the product key previously, so I'm going to press Command V as in Victor to paste that into the product key field. That just saves time, so I don't have to retype it. Click Next. And now the program is going to install itself and a really small set of base content. Okay. Um, it does pop up a little registration login screen. We've already got the software in our account, so we don't need to bother with that. I'm going to close that browser tab. And then I'm going to click the installer back here in the dock, bring it to the front. Um, at the end of the installation wizard, we can choose to run the program. I'm going to go ahead and do that and just make sure the program starts up as expected. So it is. I can check for updates now or later. I'm going to do later. And um, we're at the very beginning points of the software. So we know the software is installed and works. I'm actually going to close this screen and quit the program. And I'm going to download and install the rest of the content. To get rid of the disk image off the desktop, I can just right click on it and choose eject. That just cleans it up. Now, one thing we want to do before we start downloading the extra content is we, especially if you're using Safari, we need to change the settings in Safari to not expand those zip files. If we expand them, the program's not going to rec recognize them. So if you head to the Safari menu and you choose settings, and then right here on the general tab is this little box that says open safe files. We don't want to open those because that will let Safari expand the zips. They won't be recognized. So I'm going to uncheck that box and close the window. Now I can just go through my downloads list and download each one at a time. If I knew I just wanted a specific topic, I could, but I like to have all of my content available while I build, um, build the albums. So I'm just going to start with each one, and uh, as soon as it's in the queue, I'm going to click the next one and the next one until they're all at least queued up to download. Now that I have the downloads uh, finished, I'm just going to double check my downloads list. They all show that they're downloaded. I'm going to batch import them. So I'm going to start my memory suite. And when the starting point screen appears, I'm just going to close it. And I head straight to the file menu and choose import download. The program is going to ask if it can have access to the downloads folder, choose yes, allow, and then I'm going to sort this list by date modified so that my zip show up all at the top grouped together. So I'm clicking the column header once and then a second time that groups all the recently downloaded stuff together. I'm going to click the first one on the list, hold down shift on the keyboard, click the last one. All of them are selected, click open, and then each uh, install file is going to give me a summary of where it was imported, the category list embellishments and backgrounds. These are all going to go into MM9 since they came with the program. Other kits that you may purchase in the future might go into other categories. Uh, well, they will. They'll go into 
uh, whatever the designer specifies for them. Some would go into seasons, vacations, sports, school. There's a variety of categories they could go into, but uh, if you pay attention to where they're imported, it'll make it easier for you to find them when you access that content later. So I'm gonna click OK here. That was the first one, second one, third one, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. Uh, content pack imported. I'm going to make a quick album and show you how to access that content. So I'm just uh, choosing design. I'm not going to choose a pre-built. I'm going to make a single page 12 by 12 album by clicking create down here at the bottom. I'm going to dismiss the trim guide notice. Now I'm going to access, you can access embellishments and backgrounds in a lot of different ways. I like to use the control panel uh, over on the right. You can also use these galleries here um, on the left and you can click the add buttons at the top. So I'm going to use the control panel on the right, open the backgrounds panel, and um, you can see that I have my purchase and MM9. If, if these aren't already expanded, you can just click the little triangles and those will expand open. Uh, you can click each of the categories and see the various backgrounds that are available in those. Uh, so I'm just going to choose a background and add it. And then I'm going to go to embellishments and same sort of thing. Again, if this wasn't expanded, I could expand it and choose, you know, any number of items here to add to the page. So I'm going to add a couple of embellishments and close that. Now you can see I've installed content and accessed it through the program. Um, it's pretty quick and easy.